Hey guys, this is Salim and in this video, we're gonna root the Nexus 5X, that's this device. I did a routing video on it. Uh, it was like a year ago. It was on Nougat or Marshmallow back then. I don't remember particularly. There's a card right here and a link of that will be in the description below if you want to check that out. Now it's the latest Android version, that's Android 8.1 because this is a Google device. And yeah, Google supports the devices. I guess this is the last of batch of updates that's, that this is gonna get. So as you can see, it's Android 8.1. So first you wanna, what you wanna do is go to about phone, tap the bill number seven times. And you'll see you are now a developer. Just click on back, go to developer options, and there will be option of OEM unlocking. Mine is grayed out because I am already unlocked. You might not be, so just turn on that and we'll continue from there. So now we have all done this, we'll just power off the device. And yeah, I like this menu a lot because that was pretty stale and pretty boring. So yeah, just power off the device, let it shut down, we'll boot into recovery. And yeah, if you are not already unlocked, do note that unlocking a bootloader may void your warranty as well as erase your personal data. So make a backup of your personal data if you're unlocking the bootloader. So to go into the bootloader, press the volume down button and the power button at the same time. And yeah, this is a skin. I guess it's two years now. So this skin is pretty good. Okay, now we are booted into the bootloader, fast boot mode or bootloader mode. And yeah, if you are not already unlocked, so your device state will be in green and it will say enabled. Mine is disabled because I have, mine is unlocked because I have already unlocked the bootloader. But I'm gonna show you anyways how to do that. So first you need your cable, USB type C cable and connect it to your computer. So we'll connect it here and let's jump into the computer. So I have given two links in the description below. So first link is AIO.zip and second is Magix V15.3.zip. So just go into AIO, install this setup for ADB drivers. I have already installed it, so I'm not gonna install it. So we're gonna go to command prompt and the easiest way to go to command prompt from this window because we have to navigate here. Hold on shift, click right click and there will be open command window here or open PowerShell window here. Anyways, that's the same thing. Open command window and for safety purposes, just right, just check if your device is connected or not. To do that, we'll type fast boot devices and boom, your device popped up. So yeah, there's that. Now we can, to unlock your bootloader, just type fast boot OEM unlock. That's it. Press, I think I, okay, press enter now. So mine is giving an error because I'm already unlocked. If it's not an error, you'll get a dialogue here to erase a bootloader. So yeah, that's that. Now we have to flash a custom recovery. That's TWRP. It's included in the zip. So just type in fast boot. flash recovery twr i just read twr because the recovery name is twrp i'll just press the tab key and it will auto complete itself so yeah this as you see i'll click on enter some commands and yeah we are done now back to the phone we'll use the volume keys to go to recovery mode press the power button to select you'll get this message. There's nothing to worry about because after you unlock your bootloader, you always get this message. Here's your TWRP recovery. Okay, so yeah, we are here. Now back to the PC again. So remember I said that I have given you a zip file. Just copy that zip file and copy it to your phone. Internal storage of your phone. So as you see, I have copied it. Now back to the phone. Click on install. Scroll down, select the zip file that you just copied. Swipe to confirm flash. That's it. Just let it flash. We are using Magisk Air as Super, Super SU is now dated. 
and magic is a new big thing it's systemless so no changes to the system whatsoever that's pretty good for security purposes i click on wiped cache dalvik and i confirm it i then just reboot the system and just uncheck these two and click on do not install i don't yeah click on this button do not install so i just did that if you are stuck on the google logo just go to the bootloader you can go to twrp also but we'll go to bootloader first so yeah we are in the bootloader go to recovery mode it will boot you into recovery so if you are stuck on the google logo just click on mount uh, let me show you this is the option mount click on mount click on system and vendor if it's not booting mine is not checked mine was booting so it was okay for me if yours is not booting just go to recovery click on system and just click on back and reboot and then system that's it it will start booting so it's booting now okay let's just unlock it yeah i have not set a password so if you go in the menu you'll see magisk manager so yeah and let's check if we are rooted or not let's turn on the wifi i guess it's too much brightness yeah uh, if you can see so okay we are connected to the wifi now let's go to the play store and uh, we'll just type root checker see we got root checker just install it all right guys root checker is installed as you can see but before going to that let's just go into magisk manager and see if the root is enabled or not correctly okay see we got to install a new version of magisk so we'll just click on install allow okay if you get this error click on settings click on allow from the source back and proceed like normal cool now just open it up let's see if it fires up okay we don't want the change log so it's okay now let's just close it everything go to root checker agree okay now just click on verify root so it's now verifying root it will ask for super user access so click on grant and it says congratulations root access is properly installed on this device device name is nexus 5x android version is 8.1 so the latest android version and it's rooted so that's pretty simple so yeah this is how you root your nexus 5x if you like this video and found it helpful do hit the like button if you hated the video you know what to do if you have any more queries about rooting and all let me know in the comments below and since you're commenting down below hit the subscribe button and hit the bell icon so that whenever i post updated tutorial videos you'll be the first to know thanks a lot for watching this is salim and i'm signing out yeah.